For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that he show, whosoever should believeth in him shall not perish, but shall have eternal life. If you're a Christian, you don't know that one. And Jesus takes that whole beautiful statement and he, he adds to it, to, to make it correct. And instead of, instead of saying he gave his only begotten son, almost like as a sacrifice to pay the penalty for sin, he says he gave it to his only begotten son. For God so loved the world that he gave it to his only begotten Son, that he whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but should have eternal life. So he went from gave his only begotten Son, almost like a sacrifice on the cross, to he gave it to. What does he mean, he gave it to? It's talking metaphorically there about the real world, the happy dream. The happy dream of the Holy Spirit was given as a gift from the Holy Spirit to the sleeping Son of God. That he whosoever shall believeth in this happy dream shall not perish, but shall have eternal life.